This is Mr. Burley at St. Elizabeth Catholic School. I want to, sh the next video, this is the next video, this is the fourth video in this series. In the last one we did a few things, we added the wheel and we sculpted the wheel. Now I'm going to copy the wheel forward here into this location. I showed you slightly previously how to do that, but we'll just go over it one more time. Move and copy, I'm going to select that wheel. Now you'll notice it didn't select the, the nuts. So I'm going to hold the control key down and I'm just going to select the nuts individually. I'm going to scroll out. Now, I have to create a copy. If I grab this one and pull it straight forward into the proper location, it creates a copy. Now, one of the things that back, I want to, I breezed over and I'm not sure everybody understands, but it's kind of an interesting link here. The wheel would actually be rubbing the inside. There's always a gap there, there never would be rubbing. So, what you do is you go back to the, the model here, if I can find it. This one right here, no, nope, this one. Bear with me. It's got to be one of these the last one right there of course it's the last one why would I keep going now I'm gonna right click I'm gonna extrude that or edit that feature and now this will just drag it that way but I want to go two sides and I'm gonna grab this one the inside one and make the wheel a little narrower so if I go to the front view I can see exactly where that wheel is supposed to be so I'm gonna come back to roughly there and if you want a little bigger little beefier little beefier tires you can come back there and make it beef them up a bit and I can bring this one out a little bit that so now it replicates more of the tire. You can see the image isn't perfectly lined up and down on this particular model, but not a big deal for that. Now the interesting part of this is when I go OK, all the previous ones I moved, it'll also do them. So you see I've got a gap on the front as well. Now the next thing we can do is I can bring once I mirror it, then I can go and sit on this face and I can bring a, an axle across and model a nice axle and even do some under under designs. I can put, flip it upside down, we can put the exhaust pipes on and everything. Again, 3D printer will do all that. If you're seeing seeing it, it's a different story, but 3D printing will work nicely. Now, I'm going to go to this view. Now you notice the model isn't out far enough, so I'm going to go back and I'm going to edit that. I'm just going to right click here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click this guy and I'm going to press pull him. And I want to pull him out just a bit further. So if I go to this view, I can see how far out to pull him. So I'm going to pull him out to Something like I want to get I want to get this area here in, in, as well. So I'm going to pull them out like that. There we go. Click OK, and now I'm going to go and I'm going to cut this to be the same shape. Now you'll see it's a beautiful radius right here. So what you can do, I'll even do it here. Is okay. Sometimes when you go to to, to sketch on a sketch pl on a plane, especially like this with the multiple different angles, it's hard to sit on the exact face that you want to draw. Like this one here would be the correct one, but sometimes the the, the origin is buried in the center of the model and it's hard to get at. So what I do is I go, I click the bodies off, I go create sketch, click the define the plane, then I just turn the bodies back on. So that's a, one easy way. There's many, many different ways to do it, just like anything else in CAD, but that's one of the things I always do. Now I'm going to create a sketch. I'm going to start up here somewhere and I'm going to come down to here like this. I'm going to zoom right in and I'm going to go to about here. And then I'm going to take a radius to, I could have, I should have been over a little bit further, but no, nevertheless. Um, you're going to do a better job than I am. Arc, I'm going to use that arc. I'm going to go here, and that's the end. And I'm going to go so zoom in again, make it just a little bit like that. I'm going to grab the end of that guy, and I'm going to come from here. I'm going to scroll out a bit. I'm going to follow the window down. And I know the window is right down to there. And then it comes out on a bit of an angle right here. So when I lost it, so I'm going to grab back onto him. And I'm going to come back out on a bit of an angle somewhere around there. And then anywhere here is arbitrary, meaning it doesn't matter. You're just going to come back here. You're just finding your way back home to this guy here. Now, right click, stop sketch. And right click on this guy. And I can get at him. And right, right here, press pull. And I put him on an angle like this. I'm going to go two sides. And of course, we're cutting. And it'll know you're cutting as soon as you pull. You'll see it turn around. So we're going to come way out here. And make sure it's past the front, just in case there's any features not catch. Caught. Come back this way like this. Cut it. And now, if I turn off the canvases, you can see it's starting to look like more like a jeep. We got the round top. We got the straight window down the side, and so on. Now it's time to finish modeling this. And again, like I said in the last video, just all the little details. And the details. This part doesn't take long at all, obviously, but. The, doing all the little details it does. Hinges are nice too. You can design one hinge and then just move him up here. Same with the door handle. Do the door handle here and then copy him and move him back. So it's it's nice that way. It's it's easy to take take those pieces and bring them forward and backwards. Okay so the next video we'll we'll look at is uh, we'll start modeling the front to make it look more like a Jeep because this uh, clearly doesn't look like a Jeep from this from the front view and so we're going to start designing that shape on the, the
the next video.